What's going on guys and welcome back to the Triple B Gaming News Channel. If you want to hear the other side of the news, subscribe and turn on notifications. In today's video we're going to be talking about Aiden being accused of using wall hacks in Call of Duty Warzone. So, let's crack on with the news. For a long time, Aiden has played at the top level in Call of Duty Warzone. In fact, he's one of the highest earners when it comes to tournaments for Call of Duty Warzone. This guy has had multiple world records when it comes to kill races, when it comes to high kill games. And people have always thought he was up to no good. From the 61 kill world record back in Verdansk when he come up against the Juggernaut at the end, people assumed he was using wall hacks throughout and there were moments that it did look extremely suspicious. But not just to mention the fact that he was also in a lobby full of people who didn't know how to shoot back. So was he using some form of reverse boosting method as well to cheat on top of using wall hacks like people claimed? It's all a possibility at this point. A moment has surfaced more recently in Call of Duty Warzone Caldera where Aiden completely shoots out into the open and kills somebody and he acts very strange afterwards. He has a shocked face and then even responds to what happened in the video clip. Let's run that clip through for you now. One. Nice. Uh, Damage wipe, that's why they seem like that. All, all that for that. Can you res me? Damn, that looks kind of sus, bro. I'm not gonna lie. What? Uh, <laughs> I can't. I can't. You can't say? <laughs> Just never mind. So because of this clip that you've just seen, many people believe Aiden is using wall hacks. Others seem to believe that he's using aimbot. Either way, the reaction of Aiden from that clip definitely screams suspicion because he even says himself that looked sus. I'm going to play that again now, but instead of showing the full clip, I'm just going to concentrate solely on Aiden's reaction and see whether or not he naturally looks completely shocked or whether he seems like he's been caught. Watch the clip through now. So one, nice. Uh, Damage wipe, that's why they seem like that. All, I mean, all that for that. Can you res me? Damn, that looks kind of sus, bro. I'm not gonna lie. What? Uh, <laughs> I can't. I can't. You can't say? <laughs> Just never mind. So you can see his reaction even more so when you look closer to the camera. He's looking at his chat to see what on earth they're thinking. Are these guys going to call me out? Are my own fans and followers going to assume I'm cheating at this point? The overall reaction seems to let everybody know that Aiden may not have known that guy was there. Was it aimbot? Was it wall hacks? Well, the question mark still hangs over this situation. Many people will believe it is one or the other and others will still defend Aiden no matter what. But let's take a look at the history of Aiden, all the way back from his 61 kill world record game in Verdansk. Back in Verdansk, when Aiden dropped the 61 kill North America world record, that's what he titled his video at, he had many moments in there where people were screaming wall hacks. I put a video out myself on the Bad Boy Beeman channel, and we will run a short portion of that through for you now, and it does scream suspicion due to the guy who was stood right there. How did he know he was there? Okay, let's go back a little bit again and watch that from start to finish again. So he's pushing through the building, up the stairs. So, for example, if he was using wall hacks at that moment, okay, just the second before he pops that UAV, he literally, right there, right there, that's where the enemy stood in this sort of vicinity here. Okay, so if he was using ESP wall hacks, he would have seen the enemy there. And then, as I've said, if anybody's using ESP wall hacks while streaming and they want to hide it, they would pop UAVs to cover the tracks. So what does he do at this instance? He pops his UAV right now. There you have it. 
and the enemy does not show up on the minimap whatsoever so they are obviously using ghost and then he still pushes up this position here and the minute he turns that corner in fact before he's even pushed through that door he is not looking to go anywhere else other than that corner because he's already turned into the left and then there you have it enemy there pop pop he's dead that to me screams wall hacks so there has always been suspicious moments when it comes to some of these top level warzone streamers some streamers seem to have more suspicious moments than others but some Warzone streamers don't seem to have any sort of suspicion in their gameplay at all. And they play at high levels, they're in the top earners. But Aiden always seemed to have that little bit of suspicion in his gameplay. From moments like we've just seen back in Verdansk, where he's pushing round corners and shooting people perfectly, when he shouldn't know they were there. And now recently, shooting somebody in Caldera, out the sky, and acting shocked, and even stating himself it is suspicious. Now this all comes from a guy who has openly spoken about the fact that he cheats. He's openly stated he cheats whilst being live on stream. He also decided to start tagging Engine Owning, which is a known cheat provider for Call of Duty Warzone. When he purchased the house, he thanked Engine Owning for allowing him the opportunity to get that house. But let's take a look at some of the things that Aiden has said during live streams about him being a cheater. How do I feel about the hackers in the game? Um, I don't really care because I'm hacking too, so it doesn't really bother me. Not that big of a deal for me, bro. Um, guys, I'm gonna go get a drink real quick. Are they cheap to download? Yeah, it's super easy, super easy to download. Super cheap. I'll be right back, one sec. Dude, your movement's good, but you're a hacker. Okay. I don't care. I can hack if I want. Yeah. I love hacking, man. I was born a hacker, you know? Up in time. Oh, Holy fuck! Wow. Wait, I just had a bug where I could see everyone on the map. I'm not joking. Hey, I just had a bug where I could see everyone. So for a long time, Aiden has been open and honest with his fans and community that he cheats, right? Or at least that's how it would look if ever it came out and he popped the cheat menu up on stream. He could say, well, I told you about this way back in Verdansk. I told you about this during Caldera. In fact, this most recent one, the one that we can see now where he sat in this what looks like an empty room, was when he had just recently purchased his new house and moved into it and he was sat there talking about cheats in fact somebody in his chat asked how much they were to download he said they're super cheap and super easy to download so even at that point if he was joking how many of his community his followers you know millions of people would have went out and purchased them for themselves because their favorite streamer aiden said they were super easy and super cheap to download so this guy has always been under the microscope, especially since people realized there was a cheating problem in Call of Duty Warzone. And now this more recent clips come out, many people have jumped on it, stating it to be wall hacks. Many people have jumped on it, stating it to be aimbot. And we will run that clip again through for you now. Hey, no. So on. Nice. Uh, Damage wipe. That's what he seemed like. That. All, all that for that. Can you res me? Damn, that looked kind of sus, bro. I'm not gonna lie. What? Uh, <laughs> I can't. I can't. You can't say. <laughs> Just never mind. So there is definitely a level of suspicion within the gameplay, and Aiden cannot deny it because he even claimed it himself that it did look sus. Now this is all from a guy who had what appeared to be a cheat menu pop up in the reflection on his glasses. And after being asked about this by myself on Twitter, he decided to block me. We are going to run a clip through now where we see a black box appear in the reflection on his glasses. From this moment, you're going to be able to see the black box in the reflection on his glasses, right? And then he goes through onto his desktop mode. But as soon as he switches over, you can no longer see the black box on his desktop. Whatever he's showing his community, his viewers, 
isn't what you could see in the reflection of his glasses, which is very strange. It's the exact same desktop because you can see the task manager. Just going to go back and pause it slightly there, okay? So in the glasses, what you are actually able to see there is the white box first. That is task manager. And we can tell that when he actually switches to desktop mode. But that black box popping up on top of task manager there, right? That is what people want to know what it is, the black box. Why is that showing up? Now, of course, in the reflection. That's very strange. But even zoomed in, you can't really tell what it is. But watch as he switches over to desktop mode and that black box is no longer there. Okay. So now we can see task manager, which is what we could see in the reflection on his glasses, right? But there's no black box in front of it. So this essentially sums up the story of Aiden. Aiden has claimed to be a hacker himself, maybe in a joking manner, but also promoted the fact that cheats are cheap and easy to download to his millions of followers, as well as having what looks like a cheat menu in the reflection of his glasses and then not answering any questions related to that, as well as having some moments in Caldera which are extremely suspicious and he even claimed that straight after the moment occurred, and actually have a moment back in Verdansk where he's pushing enemies that aren't showing up on a UAV on the minimap and he's still able to turn the corner perfectly and kill them even though they weren't moving so I mean at what point do people realize that somebody is cheating at what point do they think it's all just coincidental but it still appears that Aiden will continue to grow as a content creator his fans will continue to support him no matter what he says or does in Call of Duty Warzone and it seems to be the going thing for many other streamers who do have suspicious gameplay but this is Aiden ladies and gentlemen with his more recent clip which could be wall hacks it could be aimbot but it could just be a coincidence that Aiden believes is sus if we find out any more about Aiden, any more suspicious moments like that, we'll definitely keep you posted about it here on the Triple B Gaming News channel. So make sure you're subscribed with notifications on Triple B over and out. Thank you very much for making it this far through the video and if you did enjoy the video guys make sure you hit that thumbs up if you fancy sharing the video out as well it helps the channel massively and if you are new don't forget to hit that subscribe button and whack that notification bell so you don't miss any of our daily news uploads you don't want to miss out we have fun here we give you the news on a daily basis but also for anybody who can't watch the videos on the move and you feel like you want to keep up to date with the news in other ways, we do have a website, www.bbbgamingnews.com. It's actually linked in the description of every single one of our videos. We put out multiple news articles about gaming-related things across all boards, all different games, all different consoles, all different gaming news. Go and check it out, and thank you very much for watching once again.